and he used to rub over his face, he used to like rub over the grave, and he used to rub over his face, he used to like rub over the grave, and he used to rub over his face, he used to like rub over the grave. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I would wipe over it to seek blessings. I would, I would, you know, wipe over my clothes. I wipe over my face, and I would kiss it. Say what you want. Say what you want. Call him shirk. So as you can see, we've got the book Wafa al Wafa, and he mentions he a Samhudi a Afar uh, that Bilal radiallahu anhu when he used to come back from a sham, he used to be, uh, come to the grave of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he used to cry close to him, and he used to rub over his face on the grave of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and this isnad is jayyid. Um, pay attention to the Arabic text. And here, وَإِسْنَادُهُ جَيِّدْ كَمَا سَبَقْ So here, as Samhudi claims the Isnad is Jayyid. Tayyid? So now what I'm going to do, I could, I could easily now go on a website, Arabic website. And I could, and it would be absolutely legit for me to pull out the website and show you a Takhrij and how the scholars of Hadith <laughs> declared this narration is a weak or even a fabrication. But to make my case even stronger, right, I'm not going to go to Najdis, Salafis, Atharis. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to darulfiqh.com. A approved Deobandi website. Approved as in yani, a Deobandi Mufti checks uh, these um, fatawa and answer, answers and whatnot. So look at the question. What is the authenticity of the story of Sayyiduna Bilal who's seeing the Prophet in a dream and returning to Medina and doing Adhan again? Bismillah and Assalamu alaikum. The incident of Sayyiduna Bilal returning to Medina Munawra after the demise of the Prophet is very commonly narrated and narrated and related. They are right. Our dear Bundy brothers are right here. This is a widespread Rafi Sufi Shubha. It is narrated that Sayyiduna Bilal radiallahu anhu dreamt of the blessed Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam questioned his distance from al Medina. Sayyiduna Bilal radiallahu anhu at once headed to al Medina and was requested to give Adhan by the grandsons of the Prophet وسلم, upon giving Adhan, the dwellers of Medina walked out onto the streets in tears out of love and remembered and remembrance of the blessed time of the Prophet وسلم. The narration is as follows. Um, keep in mind, um, they haven't translated the whole narration, which is alright. Look, this bit here, النبي, this bit here is that Hajji, uh, you know, and those who, uh, you know, peddle these Rafi, and Sufi Shubat, they love this bit. So this bit here, look what it says. فَأَتَى قَبْرَ النَّبِي صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وسلم. So it says, Bilal came to the grave of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. And what did he do? Then he basically put his face, watch he, on it, on the on the grave and rubbed it. Hmm? Well, Hajji read. And what, so this is the source of Samhudi. So Samhudi's source is this. This is the full narration. And the takhrij of this narration, the incident is reported by Ibn Asakir. This Ibn Asakir, so this is the takhrij. In his Tariqh Dimashq, he mentions this, uh, this event with a long chain of narration stemming from Abu Darda. So the origin of Huh? One of the it's it's mentioned in other books as well, as far as I know, but one of the early sources is this one, Tariq Dimashq. And it's attributed to Abu Darda that he's the narrator. Likewise, Ibn uh, Ibn al-Athir, you see, as I said, likewise Ibn al Athir Rahimullah quotes the same incident in his monumental book on biographies, Usul Ghaba and Ibn Hajar al haytim al makki the Sufi as well. So it's in the books of the scholars, it's not the link. So look. I am not the deal, Bundy. We're not going to commit logical fallacies like our friend Bro, Bro Hajji saying, oh, we don't give a rat's 
us because Fulan is a Najdiya, Wahhabiya, or because these people are deal bandits. No, they bring Dalil for what? For the actual hukum of the hadith, the status. What is the verdict on this hadith? Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, who is really a heavyweight, heavyweight muhaddith, states in his momentous Lisan al Mizan that this event is clearly a fabrication. <laughs> Allah al Musta'an. Furthermore, Imam al Dhabi, yes, we can, we can take and we can reject from Imam al Dhabi, like as we can do from all human beings except Sahib of the grave in Medina. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Imam Malik said. We are not a rawafid who claim that there are 12 Persianized demigods huh, who are ma'asumin. No. So here you have the heavyweights. And then Imam Dhabi, he as well states that uh, this episode is munkar. So this got, and then, look, I'm going to link this for you guys. All right. And then you can check it yourself. So. Diobandi scholars, uh, Mufti Faraz Adam, and this was checked by Mufti Hussein Kadoya Hafidahullah. So Diobandi scholars are intelligent enough and refer to the scholars of hadith and know this is a fabrication. So I don't need to tell you what Atheri scholars then believe regarding this fabrication. 